ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Comedian Field at Holliston High School. It's the 9 and 0 oh, Holliston Panthers girls taking on the 5 3 and 3 Hopkinton Hillers. Tom Nappy on the call for today's broadcast, which will air on HCAM and HCAT. And we are set to go as standing in the center circle is Allison Bird, and we are underway. Christian Boudet, our cameraman for today. Hope I'm saying his name right. <laughs> as it is out of bounds along, almost out of bounds along the near side. And it was kept in nicely by Delaney Mick. Holliston undefeated on the season. And that is pretty incredible to do in the TVL. A lot of great teams as Charlotte Getchell throws it in from the near side. Hiller is maintaining control for now. And this is over the defender's head and that'll force the goalkeeper, Kelty Kober out of the net to wrap it up. That was a nice job by, uh, I believe it was Gabby Welding, who was able to get it over the defender's head. Here comes the Holliston Panthers on the attack. Now coming out of the net for Hopkinton is Natalie Calkins who will wrap that one up. And she'll send it airborne. Chase down along the far side, Gabby Welding with possession. She's tripped up as the ball goes out of bounds. It's Gabby Welding up against Caroline Sally. Millers will have the entry from the far side. It's going to be a free kick. Big opportunity here. It's a good one, right where you want it, the header. And the shot just a little bit high by Delaney Mick. Mick was set up very well by Sydney McDonald, but then she just air mills it over the net. So now Mel Coleman, the Holliston goaltender, will actually stay put as sending it up the field is Charlotte Getchell for Holliston. Along the far sidelines, Sarah Winokur. And she sends it out. A little push there by Gwen Freely. I think the refs might have missed it, though. And we do have an injured Hiller. She appears to be getting up. So let's see Hasbro, who is a little shooken up. Well, maybe a little bit of a limp there. Let's see if she stays in the game. She appears to be okay, which is very good news. That was a behind the back push. A little surprised there wasn't any uh, penalty calls on that one. Uh, that might have been worth uh, a yellow card. Has broke. Sends it over to Sullivan. Now it's still. Olivia O'Connor sending it over to the far side. Here comes the Hillers on the attack. Battle along the far sideline. Gabriela Ramirez Brodor getting foot on that one to send it way up. That ball still in bounds along the corner. Now it's put out off of Olivia O'Connor. will be Hiller's possession. Wind's starting to pick up a little bit. It is a beautiful afternoon for girls varsity soccer go back and forth in the neutral zone and here comes an attack by Hopkinton and that was Delaney Mick who was trying to get the shot off there but some good goalkeeping by Mel Coleman. Coleman sends it flying, good boot there. Temperatures are in the high 70s today. We are pretty much in the middle of October, it's unbelievable. 
but certainly can't ask for better weather than this. It'll be a throw in for Holliston along the far side. Caroline Sally on the entry. Chase down for Hopkinton. That one off Sarah Winnaker. Along the far side, that's Caroline Sally for Holliston. Matched up with Gabby Welding for Hopkinton. Pretty much back and forth exchanges in the neutral zone so far. Hopkinton did have a couple of good opportunities to get a shot off, but have yet to take advantage. Along the near side now. And a good box out by Hannah Wolfgang. That's set up field by Getchell. We'll chase down for Hopkinton now. Maya Zent matched up with Alexandria Finaggio. And Finaggio sends it out. About six minutes into action here in the first half. Scoreless game between Hopkinton and Holliston. Corner kick for Holliston, big opportunity here. And a nice job by the Hillers defenders getting that out of there quickly. As Elizabeth Mackey tries to turn it around for Holliston. Pass over to Emily Clapper who sends it up the far side. Attacked by Bugs up here. And it is out along the far side. It will be a throw in. Uh, that's the one thing about the weather being this warm this time of year. The Bugs come back out thinking that summer's back. They're a little bit uh, crazier than normal. Passed down by Olivia O'Connor. Now our cameraman getting attacked by a bee. Certainly having a lot of fun up here today <laughs> with the Bucks. Throw in for Holliston. That was a nice job by Lexi Hasbrook to get it out there and then a big shot there but a little too wide. I believe that was Caroline Sally on that shot for Holliston. Natalie Calkins set to Air this one out. The Holliston Panthers led by fourth season head coach, Brielle Chatsey. Hopkinton Hillers led by first season head coach, Wayne Sygrove. Sigrov has done a terrific job with this Hopkinton program in his first year. He's really turned it around. And both of these teams are heading to the playoffs. Also with the 9-0 record. Hopkinton at 5-3-3. Emily Clapper chasing it down. Up along the far side, pass just past Caroline Sally. Back and forth we go in Halston territory. Some good air on that one, and it is wrapped up by Coleman. Hillers being aggressive getting to the net today and just getting shots off whenever they can. That was a nice shot by, I believe it was Sidney McDonald along that far side. Or actually, that was Gabby Welding. Out of bounds along the far side. It is going to be a Hopkinton throw in. in the neutral zone. Both teams exchange a couple of times and now the Hillers trying to put some pressure on. Welding getting that shot off to force Coleman out of net again. Approaching 10 minutes into this first half. Your head committee in field.
Alston putting some pressure on here. A shot, and it's wide to the left. The shot was by Sarah Winokur. Just wide to the left. Hillers gets set to send it downfield. Natalie Calkins. Along the near side. Sydney McDonald sending it back to the defensive zone. Now Hasbro trying to send it up. Here comes Holliston putting some pressure on. Big opportunity here for the Panthers as Freely tries to center it up. And we get a whistle in the Hopkinton defensive zone and it will go in favor of the Hillers. Calkins will send it down. Back to the neutral zone. Another whistle there in favor of Hopkinton. Free kick coming. And they were going to have pretty good position on this free kick. Let's see Hasbro will take it. Along the near side, there's Gwen Freely, and out of bounds. Sent down by Hasbro. Hiller's doing a nice job at really Keep in possession when they get an opportunity in the Holliston defensive zone. A pretty good shot there. Pillars with five shots on net so far. Pretty impressive as Mel Coleman sends this one up. Holliston having a little bit of trouble establishing momentum in the Hillers defensive zone. Hopkinton certainly quick to clear it out. Well, it's one of those types of games where you have two very talented teams. It can certainly go in either direction. Free kick here for Holliston. Megan Sullivan will take it. Airs it out. That was a nice free kick. Taylor's defenders in the right place at the right time as we go back and forth headers in the defensive zone. Up the far side and out. Holliston throwing. Emily Murphy will throw it in. Up the sideline, she goes with it. Sending it up there. It was Panaggio. Now the Hiller's trying to take control back. Panaggio up against Sullivan along the far side. There's Panaggio now. Deflected by Zent. Nice pass over to the left by Freely, but no one was there for Holliston. Up the near side goes Getchell. That one off of Allison Bird. Sent back up by Getchell, but there is Sydney McDonald past the near side. Here's Alexis Vile, or actually that was Lexi Hasbro, excuse me. Mackie will send it over to Coleman to clear it out, but she'll put it out of bounds along the near side, throw in Hopkinton, but smart move there. Allows Halston to get their defenders back downfield. Throw in for Hasbro. And 
And a shot here is just a little bit high by Megan Sullivan. Well, Hiller's certainly getting the shots off, but a couple opportunities a little bit higher than they would have liked. Midfield now. Back into Holliston defensive zone. Sent up field. Along the far sideline. Back and forth we go in the neutral zone. Now Alston trying to establish some pressure. Here's Panaggio. It was a good pass there, but deflected by a defender. Picado comes away with it briefly. A header for the Hillers there by Delaney Mick. Back and forth we go. Sent back up by Sally. Alston certainly starting to establish possession a little bit better than they have so far in this game. We'll get a late whistle on a trip there. Sydney McDonald on the trip up, and this is going to be a very nice free kick for Holliston. Big opportunity here. Alexandra Panaggio will take it. We'll see if they try to put this straight in the net or a pass. She's going to go for it all here, and that is off of Calkins. And it gets away from her. She's able to swat it out and a shot off the side of the net. Good goaltending by Natalie Calkins. That was an ideal free kick for Holliston. Calkins able to swat it out and keep this a scoreless game as we get towards the midway point of this first half. One off of Getchell. Turning it around is Bricado. Sent down now by Welding. Here comes Hopkinton. Chased down on the far side. Allison Bird trying to get to it for the Hillers. It was stopped. Nice job getting up field by Charlotte Getchell. Airs it out. Header by Sullivan. Here comes the Hillers with some pressure. Delaney Mick with the shot. That's off of the goaltender, and she's able to wrap it up. Now Coleman with a good save there. Nice shot by Delaney Mick. Side now back to midfield. Gabby Wilding pass over to Hasbroke. Now both of these teams showing that they are an even match here this afternoon. It's been some good action in this first half. Some good pressure by both sides. Good steal there. And Great steal by Mia Luisi. We'll have a throw in along the far side. Will be Hopkinton's ball, I believe. in a Hiller's territory by Luisi. On the far side rally, Delaney. 
ends up out of bounds. I believe it was off of Mia Wolfgang. Hiller is on the entry. Attempted pass to Panaggio, stolen away. Some good speed there by Delaney Mick. Pass over out in front, but awesome defender, Charlotte Getchell there. On the far side, and out it goes. As we are just past the midway point of this first half, it's scoreless between Holliston and Hopkinton. Tom Nappy, happy to be with you this afternoon. This game will air on HCAM and Hop in Hopkinton, as well as HCAT in Holliston. Here comes Holliston, Winokur with the pass up. Chased up the far side, Wolfgang trying to get to it for Holliston. A little trip up there as Wolfgang and Delaney collide. That's Riley Delaney for the Hillers. Throwing for Hopkinton up the far side. Sent down. Out of bounds. Couple substitutions for both teams. Throwing for the Hillers. Set up by Luisi. Hopkinton able to get it back because there is Sidney McDonald. Down along the far sideline. Allison Bird matching up with Elizabeth Mackey. Mackey with some good moves there to establish possession, but she did end up out of bounds. Hiller's on the throw in. Lexi Hasbrook on the entry. Shot here, wide to the left. That was a good look for Sydney McDonald to try a shot, but just a little bit wide there. Austin will air this one out. And a good boot there. Up the far side we go. Knocked back down by Delaney. Off of McCulis, back to Hasbrouck. Hasbrouck sends it flying. And sending it back was Elizabeth Mackey. Pass by Maya Zent, over to Megan Sullivan, out of bounds it goes. Throw in for Holliston. Shot here and just a little bit wide. Sarah Winokur trying to center that one up. Calkins will have a chance to send this one away. There it goes. Back to midfield. McCulis with the pass. So McDonald back to McCulis. Batted up Connor and out of bounds it goes. Oh, 
ball. So we'll have the throw in along the far side. Oh, now it looks like we have a grasshopper up here. We have a little bit of everything up here today. Nicely done by the defender, Riley Delaney. Keeping that one out of the danger zone. Here comes Hopkinton, trying to get to it, Allison Bird. Bird will get to it, just out in front of Mackey. Nice pass there. And uh, opportunity for McCullis, and out of bounds it goes. Allison will get to send this one away. Good battle between these two. Playoff contenders, both teams have clinched a spot. Allison, of course, with a 9-0 record at 18 points. The Hillers, 5-3-3, three, and three. that gives them 13 points. 10 and in is pretty much the rule. In fact, usually it's 9 and in because you just need to get a point for half the game on your schedule, essentially. Good leg there by Getchell. That one just over the head of Wolfgang. That's sent down by Welding. Chased down along the far side. Aired out there by Hasbrook. able to get to it but sends it airborne out of bounds. Hiller's on the throw in. Some good back and forth action here. Turn it around was freely. Sent that of bounds along the far side. Throwing for Holliston, Caroline Scally on the entry. Caroline Sally, excuse me. Megan Sullivan trying to get to it for the Hillers. Out of bounds it goes. Throwing Holliston. Throwing for the Panthers. And Calkins will get to send it away as we approach 11 minutes left in the first half. Still scoreless between Holliston and Hopkinton. Papulous, that one's sent out. On the entry, Charlotte Getchell. Turned around by Papulous, and she gets tangled up with a Sydney McDonald along the near side. Sent away by Hasbro, and now that one off of Murphy. Hopkinson trying to establish some momentum, but Charlotte Getchell has something to say about that as she turns it around. Back down by Hasbro, and sent away out of bounds off of O'Neill. Hasbro on the entry. by Ramirez Brodeur. Chased down backfield by Maya Zent. Here comes the 
Hiller is trying to get back into Holliston territory. Trying to break free was freely. Megan Sullivan tripped up. Some good footwork by Mia Luisi. Sent away by Sydney McDonald. Back and forth exchanges in the neutral zone continue on as we approach the nine minute mark. That one sent up and out by Sally. Throw in for the Hillers. and we'll have the entry. Back and forth along the far sideline. Header there was by Olivia O'Connor. Knocked up by Sally. Eight minutes left here in this first half. And since we haven't mentioned the starters today, we should probably do that. Starters for Holliston, Mel Coleman, Gwen Freely, Caroline Sally, Alyssa Bricado, Sarah Winokur, Elizabeth Mackey, Charlotte Gretchel, Emily Clapper, Mia Wolfgang, Gabriella Ramirez Bradour, Alex Alexandra Panaggio, and Kelty Kober is the goalkeeper for the Holliston Panthers. The Hopkinton Hillers, where we have a moment. Natalie Calkins in net, Sidney McDonald at midfield. Gabby Welding in midfield, my Zent defender. Allison Bird is a forward. Alexis Hasbro in the defensive rotation. Delaney Mick, the forward. Olivia O'Connor on defense. Megan Sullivan at midfield. And Riley Delaney, defender. And Lily York, midfielder, round out the starting 11 for the Hillers. Header at midfield was by Emily Murphy. Trying to turn it around there was Olivia O'Connor. Here comes the Panthers looking for a shot here. Nicely put out of bounds by Riley Delaney as approaching was Alexandra Panaggio. Throw in for Holliston, Charlotte Getchell on the entry. on the entry and that's sent airborne by here goes Hasbro that was Riley Delaney rather now chased down along the far side Caroline Sally rushing over to it out of bounds it goes throw in for Holliston that one put back out of bounds this time off of Holliston Taking a throw in for the Hillers, Marith Sesnick. Potential for a shot here. And just in time was the defender. Nicely deflected. That was uh, Delaney Mick trying to rush in for the shot. She was denied by the defender, Alyssa Bracado. Sent up field by Pinaggio. And a trip up there. Tiffany McCulis tripped up. Hopkinton will have the free kick. We're at five minutes left to go in the first half. We remain scoreless between the Hillers and the Panthers. Hasbrouck sends this one up. Good header there. Trying to turn it around was Delaney Mick. She's denied by Mercado. Oh, 
with possession now. That's City McDonald. Pass back over to Hasbro, who sends it up the near sideline. And a play it goes. Throwing for Getchell. And back at a bounce. Hasbro will have the entry. One off of Lily York. There's York. Nice pass. Trying to center it up a little bit there as Meredith Sesnick was thinking about a shot, but it's turned away. Throwing Hillers, Hasbro on the entry. Off of York, back to Hasbro. Delaney put it back briefly in the Holliston zone. Panthers able to respond, and now back and forth we go towards the neutral zone. Hillers with an opportunity here. Nice pass down. Delaney Mick on the chase down. And maybe a shot here, and that one is denied by the defender. A great defensive play by Caroline Sally. Now up along the near side, it was sent out of bounds. Oh no, kept in, just kept in by Ramirez Bodor. Holliston on the throw in. Charlotte Getchell on the entry. It was a good defensive stand there by the Panthers. The Hillers really put the pressure on, but the defenders did not budge. And now we have some contact here. That'll draw a whistle. This is going to be in favor of the Hillers. Lexi Hasbro set to air it out. Good air under that one, and that'll send the goalkeeper out to wrap it up. No Coleman certainly being uh, kept busy today. Off the far side, and out it goes. Back out of bounds. Approaching the two minute mark here in the first half. Good defensive battle between the 9 and 0 Hop, uh, 9 and 0 Holliston Panthers and the 5 3 and 3 Hopkinton Hillers. Back in a Holliston territory we go. Yeah, sent up and out by Ricardo. Hillers throwing. Sent out off of Riccato. Throwing once again. And how about another one? On the entry, my Zen. Sent up and out. Off of Holliston once again. My Zent's arms are going to start to get tired from all these throw ins. Some good battles along the far side, that's for sure. Into the Holliston defensive zone and away by Panaggio. That one sent up by Bricado. Here comes Hasbro. Good pass along the sideline of Murphy. And that is... Oh, it was actually the whistle behind us for the uh, football practice. Sounded like the halftime whistle for a moment. But we'll play on here for at least a few more seconds in this first half. Good air there by Zayana Siegel. Actually, that was uh, Charlotte Getchell, rather. But that is going to wrap up the first half of play between the Hopkinton Lady Hillers and the Holliston Lady Panthers. A good defensive 
battle between these two playoff contending TVL teams. The Hopkinton Hillers nothing, the Austin Panthers nothing. Second half coming up next on HKM or HCAT. <laughs> oh, did you pause it already? Oh. Second half coming up next on HCAM or HCAT in Holliston. Welcome back to Holliston High School. We're at Comedian Field. We are ready for the second half between the 9 and 0 Holliston Panthers and the 5 3 and 3 Hopkinton Hillers. Tom Nappy on the call. Christian Boudet, our cameraman. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers, Holliston Panthers, Girls Varsity Soccer on either HCAM in Hopkinton or HCAT in Holliston. And we are underway here in the second half. It was a good back and forth first half. A lot of good battles on the field between these two teams. And I'm looking for more of the same. It's been a great game by both of these teams. A lot of action out there as well. There's some action here as that shot slightly why by Panagia and a uh, defender got in the way as well. So Kalkins will send this one away. Well, the Hillers, I think, certainly won the possession battle a little bit. I think they were able to put a little more pressure on Holliston than the Panthers were able to on the Hopkinton defenders. But we'll see if that turns around here in this second half. Uh, so far, as far as shots on net, it's one nothing Holliston. They have control right now. Panaggio with some good footwork to get around a couple of Hillers a shot, and Kalkins has to wrap that one up. Nice job by the senior forward, Alexandra Panaggio. Sent away by Kalkins. Header there by Clapper. And we'll have this one go Holson's way, free kick. Well, Panthers undefeated, and by undefeated, I mean truly undefeated. Nine wins, no losses, no ties. This tie holds up today. It would be the first game Holson has played all season without a win. Turned around by Winokur. Panaggio able to steal that one away. Some good air under it. And just misses her target, Ramirez Brodeur. Along the far side we go. Tracked down by Clapper. Sent sky high. Header there by Welding. And sent out of bounds along the near side by O'Connor. Rowan Holliston, Caroline Sally on the entry. Miller's defender is facing some early pressure here in the second half. Throw in Caroline Sally. Sent up by O'Connor, out of bounds it goes. Sally on the entry. Oh, they're going to switch it up. That's Panaggio. Good throw in there. Into the box. And Lexi Hasbrook able to get it to the near side over to Zent. Locked up in the air there by Bricado. Here comes Hopkinton. Good possession. Gabby Welding. And it's stolen away. Bricado able to. Get in front and Sally takes it away. Up the near side, out of bounds. Throw in Hillers. On the entry, Maya Zent. Well, the weather conditions for this game, much like they were the, uh, for the boys game we did here at Hollison High School. Actually, that boys game was a little bit hotter. It was about 90 degrees that day. Today, it's nearing 80. Beautiful weather here today, but tomorrow, not so much. 
much rain in the forecast all day. Push there, but no whistle. Ramirez Bodor is going up against Delaney Mick. Hasbro and Getchell meeting up on the far side. That's cleared away by Riley Delaney. Pass to Caroline Sally. Sally with a nice move there. Gets it up to Luisi. Look out, here they come. Ramirez Brodor was just itching for a shot. She worked her way to the far side. Out of bounds it goes, just out of the reach of Getchell. Approaching the 35 minute mark of this second half. Five minutes in, still scoreless game. Alston leading the way in shots for the second half though with a couple. Hillers have yet to get a shot on net in the second half. Can they do that right here? Almost turned around by Mackey. Here comes Panaggio. He's a dangerous player. Panaggio centering it up and just misses her target. She was looking for Winokur. Out of bounds it goes along the far side. Hillers will have the throw in. Lexi Hasbro will take it. Hiller's trying to clear it out. In the center circle. Abby Welding able to put it in the Holliston attack zone. Wrapped up by Coleman. Coleman sends it away. Off of Hasbro. Holliston trying to establish control. On the far side corner, that's Bricado for Holliston. They will be able to kick it away here. Charlotte Getchell will send it away. On the far side, Ramirez Brodeur. Put out of bounds by Bricado. Hiller's throwing. Good footwork along the far side. It was Alistair Bird who had it last. And a push there. That'll draw a whistle. My Zen matching up with Alexandra Panaggio. That'll likely get her a little warning, too. Free kick for Holliston. Elizabeth Mackey will take it. Panthers trying to establish some control here. Sally gets back to the neutral zone. Ooh, hard contact between Panaggio and Zen. Panaggio maybe a little shooken up there. She was going for the ball, but ended up getting a piece of Zen. Those two have been matching up all game long along the near side. It's been a fun matchup to watch. Hopkinton looking for an attack. Sydney McDonald pass up to Sullivan, out back to McDonald. And the 
Allison territory she goes with it along the far side and out of bounds off of Getchell. So 10 minutes into this second half. Battle along the far side. So it's been pretty much all game long. These two teams don't like the near side that much. Out of bounds it goes. Halston will get to clear it away. Charlotte Getchell will send it away. Hillers with an opportunity here deep in Holliston territory, but keeping it away was Sally. And Sesnick was rushing like crazy to try to get to it, but Sa Sally denied her. Now Sally driving up field. Denied by Hasbrouck. On the far side, Delaney Mick up against Caroline Getchell. Now over to the end line and out we go. Holliston will get to send it away. And a Wolfgang in the game for the Panthers. Good air by Getchell. Wolfgang pass over to Ramirez Brodeur. Sends it up and out. Hillers looking for an attack. Stolen away, nicely done by Caroline Sally. Caroline Sally, the freshman, certainly making an impact on this game. Freely had a break up the far side, but getting in her way was Riley Delaney. Alliston still has possession. And Freely and centered up. The center circle, pass back over to Getchell. Along the near side is my Zent. Zent with possession. Zent going up against O'Neill there, a little collision. Neil aggressive, trying to sneak in and get the steal. Will be a free kick for Holliston. Elizabeth Mackey airs it out. There's Zent. Zent somehow keeping control there, but Panthers surrounding her. there but stolen away by Sally and a collision puts it out of bounds Neil Luisi going up against Olivia O'Connor throwing Hillers oh, going back and forth in Hopkinton territory quite a bit in the second half this is matching up with Luisi Wolfgang trying to find someone open. We see on the chase down. It's taken and handled in the corner well. Nice job by Olivia O'Connor. Establishing possession. We'll see if the Hillers can get it out of the attack zone now. And they do briefly. Up the far side and out. Throw in for Holliston. Yeah. 
Battle along the far side. Header there. Back to back headers. Getchell gets in on the action. Here comes Halston. Panaggio with possession. Panaggio around the defender she goes. Trying to establish possession. Good pass. And she was denied. Right, good job by Kate Lagasse getting in front of Panaggio. On the throw in, Caroline Sally. Wolfgang trying to chase it down on the far side, but it ends up out. Killers throw in. Put up field by Riley Delaney. And knocked out. That was off a pillar. Approaching 24 minutes left in the second half, and we remain scoreless between the Hillers and the Panthers. This game, a great defensive battle so far. On the near side, Panaggio. Panaggio with a good feed. Hard contact there. Neil Luisi has been heavily involved in the action in the second half. Looking for a shot here. And that is going to be wrapped up by Calkins. Ramirez Brodora on the shot attempt. Good pressure by Halston in the second half. Goes off of Wolfgang. Here comes Panaggio. And Panaggio thought she was going to be able to find Winokur there. Calkins will get rid of it. Sent down by Wolfgang. Along the far side, that's Tiffany McCullis. Back to the neutral zone. Caroline Sally able to get that one away before Sesnick got there. Sent up by Getchell. There's a header by Lagasse. And a bounce. Out on Holliston, Hopkinton throwing. Gassi on the throw in. Good pass by Panaggio. Match it up along the near side. That was Luisi and O'Connor. Killers throw in. Lagasse on the throw in. And that was off of Panaggio. Good job by McDonald to get it out of there. Up the far side goes Hasbro, but really able to air it out. Wolfgang with possession. Pass over to Sally. Kelkin's able to track it down. I'll tell you, both of these teams brought their A game today. The defense has been fantastic, as well as the goalkeeping. 
A lot of great back and forth battles all afternoon long as that one goes out on the far side. I believe it will be a Holliston throw in. Approaching the midway point of this second half. And through 60 minutes, we remain scoreless between Hopkinton and Holliston. Holliston, nine wins, no losses, no ties on the season. Hillers, five wins, three losses, three ties. Has broke up the far sideline. Nicely played along the sideline. Sent down by Corden. Pass over to Lagasse. Ooh, body contact there between Papulus and Hasbro. That one ends up out of bounds just in front of Ramirez Brodor. It's off for Kulis. will have the entry after a couple substitutions on both sides. Set to midfield. That was a good leap there by Kulis, but it was sent back down anyway. Hasbro. Back pass to Riley Delaney. Airs it out. Nicely done along that far sideline. She saw McCulis. Hillers with a chance here. Looking for a shot out in front. Deflected by the defender. Megan Sullivan had it. Megan Sullivan just had to get by Caroline Sally. She would have had a pretty clean shot. Put up into the danger zone. And this one batted up in the air as Allison Bird is able to get a piece of it and Coleman wraps it up. Coleman sends it down. Old Coleman, senior goalkeeper for the Holliston Panthers. Better by Lagasse, out of bounds it goes. Caroline Sally on the entry. Opportunity here. Good move by Siegel. Pass over to Ramirez Brodeur. Ramirez Brodeur is trying to find Bergloff and a shot wide to the right. Clear it away. Kalkin set to air it out. Hillers had the majority of the control in the first half, but Halston has certainly had, has won the possession battle in the second half. Sent up field by McDonald. Out of bounds it goes along the far side. Halston throwing. Good matchup along the far side as Papulus was trying to break away with it. Papulus going against Hasbro, two physical players. 16 minutes left to go here in this second half. Hopkins and Holliston still scoreless. Hasbro sends this one up. Off of McDonald. She's able to keep it in for a brief moment. All 
Nelson will send this one away. Ketchel. Wolfgang able to jump up and get that one, but sends it away. Has broken on the entry. Trying to establish control for Hopkinton's Megan Sullivan, but she was unable to get to it. Now along the far side is McCullis. A little push there, no whistle. Here comes Delaney Mick. She was hoping Gabby Welding was going to get in the, the attack zone and get a shot off. Here's Welding now. Sally trying to box her out. That shot is in. One nothing. Hiller's lead. Gabby Welding with the goal. What a beauty. 14 27 left to go in the second half. Gabby Welding placed that one perfectly. And the Hillers on top. And they have a chance to hand Hollis in their first loss of the season. Can the Panthers respond? Time is now against Holliston. Ramirez Brodeur past the near side over to Sally. It's taken away by Gabby Welding, looking for another one. Welding tripped up along the near sideline. It'll be a throw in for Holliston. Charlotte Getchell will take it. Off of Freely out of bounds. On the entry now for the Hillers. Kayla Goss. And there's Gabby Welding. Nice move there, but Welding just able to get the pass off. Nicely done, but out of bounds it goes was off of a Panther as the Lee York established control. Goss able to get it in. Went off of Riley Delaney. Heavy Welding briefly tripped up. Turned away by Sally, but she went the wrong direction with it. Batted up in the air by Lily York. Maybe a shot here. And denying McCullis was Mel Coleman jumping in front and pulling that one down. McCullis was just waiting for it. As Coleman said, you're not getting that one off. Sullivan puts that up the near side. One nothing lead for the Hopkinton Hillers. A huge goal with 14.27 left. Courtesy to see a Gabby Welding. Down the near sideline. Picked up by O'Connor. Allison. Trying to establish some kind of momentum now. We're starting to run out of time as we get down to the 11.45 mark. Goss on the entry. Header by Mackey. There's Lily York. Chase down along the far side, out of bounds it goes. Throw in Hillers. On the entry, Tiffany McCullis.
Header out. Killers will have it. Big opportunity here for Hopkinton. Gonna have a corner. Really York to take it. And the Hillers take advantage. Good power and right where she wanted it, but it was knocked up field by Panaggio. And that was perfect placement from the corner. Laney Mick was right in the area, but Panaggio able to sneak in there and get it away. And now here comes Ramirez Brodor. Ramirez Brodor goes downfield. And now on the chase down is Winokur, it's stolen away. Winokur going at it with O'Connor. And Alagas able to get a foot on that one, sent back by Wolfgang briefly. Back and forth we go to neutral. Here comes Sally. Pass over to Freely. And this one in the Hiller's attack zone. Alston with an opportunity. Have the ball deep in Hiller's territory now. Pass by Ramirez Brodor. And this from the near sideline. And she was hoping someone was going to get a touch on that one from the box. Nice job by Panaggio. It was sent out of bounds along the far side. Halston throwing. Nine and a half minutes left. You could tell Halston certainly getting a little anxious to try to erase that Hiller's 1-0 lead. have some time to do it, but time is quickly running out. And tripped up at midfield is Sidney McDonald by Wolfgang. We're gonna have a free kick here for Hopkinton. Here's Lexi Hasbrouck. Lexi, nice placement, but it was kept out. Well, it's been great defensive work by both teams in this game. Of course, Halston with the one mishap, allowed the Hillers to get on the board. Bounds along the far side. Throw in for Hopkinton. And put back out off of Holliston. Eight minutes left to go here in the second half. That whistle you just heard was a uh, game going on behind us. Wasn't the end of this game. On the near side now. And Welding couldn't get a grasp on it, so just let it go out. Hillers with a throw in deep in Holliston territory. Shot here, and that is set just a little bit too far to the right by McCulis. Seven minutes left in the second half. Hopkinton leading one to nothing. Can Holliston respond? Of course, if we get through regulation in a tie, that's how it'll stay. Both teams will get the credit for the tie and get a point. Of course, it wins two points. Tie one. Now and Sally on the throw in. We see they were passed briefly to Winokur before Hasbro got involved. Now Calkins will have to come out of net and scoop this one up. And she'll send it away. Hard contact there. That was Tiffany McCullis tripped up. 
Along the far side, it's Allison Bird for the Hillers. Out of bounds it goes. Hopkinton throwing. Knocked out of bounds there. Allison throwing. Well, Panthers, they need to certainly get very aggressive and try to work their way into the attack zone. They are running out of time. Trailing one to nothing. Along the near side, good box out by Panaggio. And I can't believe that didn't draw a whistle. Lagos pretty much had the arm of Panaggio grabbed. Uh, official standing right there. Lagasse on the throw in. Header by O'Connor. Out of bounds along the near side. Throwing for the Hillers. It's turned around by Wolfgang and out. Hillers trying to add on to secure the victory. In the air goes McDonald. And some body contact there with Allison Bird and Sally. Along the far side, header by Getchell. And out of bounds it goes just in front of Delaney Mick. We're at four minutes left here in the second half. And we are gonna have a timeout on the field. Allison wants to talk things over and come up with a game plan for the last four minutes to try to get a point on the board. At the break, it's Hopkinton one, Halston nothing. You're tuned in to Varsity Girls Soccer on either HCAM and Hopkinton or HCAT and Halston. Off the timeout, we are ready to continue on with the final four minutes of the second half. Technically, final three minutes, 59 seconds of the second half. It's a one nothing lead for the Hillers over the Panthers. Hopkinton trying to hand Hollison their first loss of the season. Let's put out of bounds along the near side off of Wolfgang. And the entry is Delaney Mick. No, Coleman will air this one out. And I hope she's gonna have Charlotte Getchell do it. Three and a half to play. Nicely done by Sydney McDonald sending that one back up into Halston territory. That's the goal of the Hillers right now. Play keep away, keep the ball in Halston territory. Don't let them establish any sort of momentum to charge in your attacking zone. Charlotte Getchell will air it out. Up the far side. Three minutes. And that is aired out by Panaggio. Now Force Calkins way out of the net. She'll wrap it up just before Winnaker is able to get there. Elkins certainly use, uses pretty good judgment when coming out of the net. She normally doesn't come out unless there's pretty much no danger whatsoever. And that is smart for a goalkeeper to do. You certainly don't want to get caught as that one's air mailed up the far sideline. Two eighteen and counting left to go in the second half. Can the Hillers hang on to their one nothing lead? They are doing a nice job right now playing keep away. Holliston having trouble establishing momentum. And McDonald sends that one up. 
Sally has a response for that. Up the sideline it goes. And that'll head out. But nicely done by the Hillers. We're in the final two minutes. Alliston is going to get this set and kick it away as quick as possible. Welding gets a foot on it and it'll sail out of bounds. Hopkinton Aylor is trying to improve to 6-3-3 three and three this season and certainly Getting the win here at Holliston at Committee and Field would be absolutely huge for the Hillers. I think that would be a tremendous confidence boost here to beat the team who's really at the top of the TVL right now. Looking for another shot here perhaps and she got tied up with a defender that was Tiffany McCullis leaping in. And now Holliston has to clear it away as quick as possible. Panaggio, this could be the final stretch here for Holliston, denied. Nicely done by McCullis. Looks like they'll have one or two more cracks at it. Throw in by Getchell. Along the far side, Freely. That one put out of bounds. Holliston's set to throw it in. Actually, it's a Hopkinton throw in. And that's put out of bounds. Another throw in for the Hillers. Laney Micka on the entry. And nicely done along the far sideline. And that's going to do it. The Hopkinton Hillers are going to hang on and grab the one nothing victory over the Holliston Panthers. A tremendous win by the Hillers, taking down undefeated Holliston. The Panthers now nine and one. The Hillers improving to six wins, three losses, and three ties. An exciting game here at Comedian Field today. Certainly a lot of fun to watch. For Christian Boudet on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. The final score for the final time, the Hopkinton Hillers take down Holliston by a final score of one to nothing. We thank you for watching Girls Varsity Soccer on either HCAM and Hopkinton or HCAT and Holliston. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll talk to you again soon.